I am a change agent. We're going to talk about how to engage, impact, and motivate young people without losing your mind. Right? How many people here have children? If you got children, say yeah. Say yeah. Some of you say yeah a little uh, faintly because they might be stressing you out, right? Some of you didn't even say nothing at all, and I know you got children, right? <laughs> and some of you have children that say, yeah, they didn't get to the terrible two stage, right? Or the awkward, moody, pubescent stage yet, right? We all know what that is. If you don't know, I'm gonna use some of my skills. I'm not just gonna stand up here and talk. <laughs> so you need to tell me that you told me you were going to Tim's house to hang out with the rest of the basketball team, right? But you end up at some random dude's house that I don't even know. When I call you, you don't answer the phone. And you're gonna walk in my house at 10 o'clock in the morning the next day like nothing ever happened? I'm gonna show you about respect. <laughs> I almost forgot where I was at. <laughs> Y'all all mandated reporters, right? <laughs> this never happened. How to be an insightful change agent. Before we walk through the door, we have to check in with ourselves and see, where am I? What's going on with me? How am I feeling today? Did I have a bad day? Am I going through something with my significant other? No, you don't take two shots of Patron to take the edge off. Take a drive. Listen to some soothing music, right? Now, I don't advise you to take a walk if you live in a bad neighborhood because you don't want to be dodging bullets and crackheads. That's going to make it worse, right? So when we recognize that we are one with nature, we start to look at life differently. That problem that you thought was a problem pushed you out of your comfort zone and close to where you needed to be. I want you to think about a moment when you felt the most happiest. Being thankful for what you do have, but not dwelling on what you don't have. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Is your energy welcoming? Is it welcome? Hey, good morning, fellas. How you doing? How's your morning? Be aware of what you say. Be aware of what you say, how you say it, your tone, your body language, all of that contributes to your energy. Man, my mom left me. She was a crackhead. I ain't gonna never be nothing. I was abused. Yes, we have to acknowledge that. But we also got to get them to see that, where are you now? You're in a better place. Give them hope. Have them write down five things that they feel grateful for. It's empowering. It helps create a good rapport with them. It helps build their confidence. So when we focus on giving, it gives us joy. Giving is the circle of life. The past is history. The future is a mystery. This very moment is called the gift. That's why it's the present.